Uh, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can filter your data set using some specific values of a column variable from your data. Okay, I have already loaded my data set into Excel. Again, this is a uh, Oregon flight data we have been working on. Uh, this data set has over 4,000 flight information and each column represents one variable. You have a uh, time indicator, uh, flight information, the carrier and also flight number, the origin and also destination as well. Just say that you are interested in filter uh, the 4,000 plus flights using their carrier information. And as far as uh, column I carrier information is concerned, we see the carrier code. The first couple is AA, and there's AS, and some other uh, OO different carrier codes as well. Just say that you are interested in filter it uh, using flight information that is uh, the carrier code is AS. Um, okay. So what you want to do is uh, you want to click on data under Excel, under Excel. As you can see, I'm using a Mac version. The PC version is fairly similar as well. You want to click on data and you want to click on filter as well. Once you do that, you can see uh, the columns actually all have a downward triangle show up. So you want to go to the column that you are particularly interested in to filter, uh, to use to filter. And uh, for column I carrier, if you click on downward triangle, you can see there are different uh, values of this particular carrier code. So there are several of them. And because we want to filter our flights, uh, flights using the carrier code that is AS, so I'm just going to select AS instead. Okay, once I do that, I can close out this dialog box. And as you can see now, only the flights with carrier that is equal to AS is being shown up. So you can double check again. And uh, alternatively, what you can see is the first, uh, the first um, indicator actually, uh, those numbers are not completely consecutive. For example, it do not start from one because remember the first flight is with a carrier code of AA, which is not something that we want. We only want the flights with carrier equals to AS, right? Okay, so we have already successfully filtered our data using uh, only focusing on the AS flights. Okay, so what you want to do next is you want to copy this filtered data set into a new Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so this is one Excel spreadsheet we've been working on. We want to filter it to a brand new worksheet. Okay, so we want to copy them. So I'm just gonna click on the upper left triangle here. As you can see, the entire column is being selected, right? Entire, sorry, entire worksheet is being selected. Okay, so I'm gonna right click and copy. I go to the new worksheet, the empty worksheet I want to paste to, and click on any cell, right click, paste. But you don't want to use paste, instead you want to use paste special, and you want to paste special by values, by values. Okay, after you do that, you can, you can double check again to make sure only the flights with carrier equals to AS is being selected. Right, so you can scroll down and make sure only that one. Okay. So we can check how many of the flights actually with a carrier information equals to AS. So that's going to be the very last one of them. I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, the very last one is uh, 1,171. So there, that means there's a, a over 1,100 flights with a carrier code that equals to AS. Okay. I think the question also asks you to work on 50 flights or maybe say just 50 randomly selected flights with a carrier code equals to AS. Okay, I don't want I don't want every single flight with a carrier code equals to AS. I just want 50 randomly selected flights with AS carrier. Right? Uh, I have another we I've already created another video explaining how you can do that. Randomly select randomly select a certain number of rows using Excel and also using uh, Excel stat. I'm going to quickly show you how you can do that here as well. I'm going to use Excel stat. So first click on Excel stat. Um, I'm, I'm working on a paid version of Excel stat. If you're using a free version, you can still do that. You just have to click on data sampling for free version. Uh, for the paid version we have, we're going to click on preparing data and data sampling, right? Data sampling. Okay. So there's a dialog box. The very first thing is you want to reset it. So you can see everything is being reset. 
and make sure you are working on the sheet that you just pasted your filter data to. I'm going to move my cursor to the data, and now I'm going to select the data we want to uh, randomly select, and that's usually the entire worksheet, the filtered worksheet. Right, so I'm just going to select the worksheet. And it is very, very important that when you select on, uh, your worksheet, do not select on the empty column. So you want to stop here, right? Column BD, you want to stop there. Okay, so the sampling method we want to use is going to be random without replacement, right? Okay, the number of samples, I just want one of them. I want to randomly select the 50 flies, 50 rows only. So 50. And you can click on OK. And Excel style is running, as you can see. And we got a new data set. And uh, usually what I like to do is uh, I want to click on this uh, grid icon. When I do that, uh, that's going to, you know, all the gray lines is going to be removed. It's going to make the presentation much neater. And let's take a look. So this is one sample. And uh, remember, all the flights we have, they're all carrier equals to AS. As you can see, they're all AS. And we don't want all of them. We only want 50 flights. So you can see uh, this is actually about a 50, right? 50 of them, only 50 of them. If you want to do uh, any calculation based on those 50 flights, just say that you want to figure it out. Uh, uh, what is the, let's see, uh, okay. Okay, uh, for example, there's a departure delay. If you're interested in figuring out the, the average of those uh, average departure delay among those 50 uh, AS flights, it can be easily done. So I'm just going to click on here equals to average. Remember, average uh, is the function for Excel. I'm going to select those 50 of them. I'm going to highlight them, as you can see. Or I'm going to stop here. Okay, close bracket. So you can see the average uh, departure delay among those 50 randomly selected AS flights is about 7.6 minutes, right? 7.6 minutes. Okay, uh, so this is all I want to say, and uh, thank you very much for watching.